Good morning, my friends. Today is Wednesday, October 2nd. It is the Memorial of the Holy Guardian Angels. It's day 22 of Beformed. And here's our st statistics for day one on the Camino. So we walked 18.15 miles. And if you're following me, you said, you're only gonna do 14. There's a long story there. <laughs> we, we were gonna stop and then, cause our, our Airbnb was off of the Camino. So we're gonna stop on the Camino, take an Uber over to the Airbnb and then come back to that same spot tomorrow. Well, we couldn't get an Airbnb or we couldn't get a, an Uber because we're out in the middle of nowhere. So we end up walking another three plus miles. So 18.15 miles, 42,701 steps, 4,269 calories burned and a total of 10 hours. And now that includes stops and, you know, lunch and breaks and those kind of things. So not continue walking for 10 hours, but we'll give you those stats each day and uh, know that, you know, we, we were praying the rosary, we prayed the liturgy of the hours. Um, we were offering our, any kind of suffering that we were experiencing for all of you on this journey. So on this Memorial of the Guardian Angels, this is a beautiful feast day for us because God loves you so much that he has assigned a guardian angel to guide and protect you, especially in the area of salvation. Now, I know when I talk about this, we've all lost loved ones and maybe there's experiences that we've had where you think, gosh, God, where were you? Where was my guardian angel when I needed them? We also have to keep into account God's permissive will and the free will that other people use, um, you know, to do bad things but know that there's a guardian angel protecting you. In the first reading for this feast day, we have from Exodus. Thus says the Lord, See, I am sending an angel before you to guide, guard you on the way and bring you to the place I prepared. So again, the goal of the guardian angel is ultimately leading us back to God in salvation. It, we've talked about this before. We're all going to die on this journey, a physical death, but... God doesn't want us to have that eternal death, that separation from him. So our guardian angel's um, goal is to help us to get to heaven. And he says, uh, be attentive to him and heed his voice. So how often do you pray to your guardian angel? How often do you reflect on, you know, God's protective uh, guardian that he has given you? And scripture says that these guardian angels, while at the same time they're, they're watching over us, they are looking upon the face of God. So just imagine that, that we all have an angel that's looking upon the face of God while they're also assigned to us. God says, my authority resides in him, in the angels. So God has given them uh, authority. He says, my angel will go before you and bring you to the Amorites, Hittites, Perizzites, and I will wipe them out. In other words, I'm going to, I'm going to guide you in, in this battle. Um, on a personal note, I remember a couple of stories, but one that I'll share with you was when I was about seven years old, um, I'm the youngest of three boys, as you know, four, four boys, but one died at birth. And so my oldest brother, when he turned, I don't know, 12 or 13, was able to babysit for us. So there was one summer day, my parents were both working, the three of us were downstairs playing in the basement, and my brothers were in the middle of a, a stratomatic baseball game. And we heard a knocking on the door uh, uh, upstairs. And so my brother said, Burke, why don't you go get it? It's probably dad coming home for lunch. And so as I walk up, I'm walking up the stairs in the basement, I look up and there's a man standing right at the top of the stairs who's not my father, <laughs> didn't know who he was. I froze and he froze. And the only thing that I could say was dad. And the man took off running, thanks be to God. And I believe that was my guardian angel kind of guarding and protecting me in that moment because what what could have happened you know had he already been in the house and I surprised him you know from you know walking into a room that he was already in so I believe that that's one of those instances that my my guardian angel was guiding and protecting me the catechism of the the catholic church says that our guardian angels are protectors and shepherds leading us to salvation and then finally just a brief moment on the gospel matthew chapter 18 Jesus once again says that the greatest uh, in the kingdom of heaven is like this child that he places in their midst. And he says, see that you do not despise one of these little ones. And you think about that, a child, uh, how they, 
they recognize, I think, God. They recognize guardian angels. They recognize the, the face of God, the presence of God around them. So may we be humble and pray for uh, the protection of our guardian angels, not just physically, but ultimately that they lead us to salvation in heaven. So Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your son, Jesus. We thank you for our guardian angels. We thank you for watching over us on this first day of the Camino. And uh, we ask, ask you to bless all those that we're praying for. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. Tune into your families. Buen Camino, and God bless you.